this is this is what kids need. I think this is what if you want to be successful high school program, I think you need some form of this training in your program. And I think I mean I would definitely promote this to any coach not in my league. <laughs> we were in such a structured box. It was the squat rack or the bench and everything was here and you didn't realize that you didn't play football like this. You know, you played football on one other foot. You know, we didn't do a lot of single foot, you know, thinking about balance and your core and I mean, I just think it just it just makes you so much more prepared to perform on the football field. Not you won't have weight room all Americans. I don't know if you guys had those guys. You know, god dang, he can bench the world, he can squat the world, but he's like a block out there. He could you know, couldn't couldn't move. Yeah, I, and I, that's I, what this training does, is it breaks all that down. Everything is geared towards playing into December. We want to play one game in December. Every year the, the state championship game is the first Saturday in December. So uh, with that in mind, we continue throughout. We don't just stop in the summer and go, okay, weight training's done with that. We continue to build throughout that. One really huge piece that people uh, didn't really notice last year is we were injury free over 14 games. It, you can tell the way those the kids move that are in this program. And it, not just at Skyview, when you look at Ferris and you look at Bonnie Lake and some of those other teams that have been in, involved in the Apex program, I can tell just by watching them warm up. The thing that I really like from what I've seen with Apex is that those lifts and the functional movements happen at the same time all the time. And you continue, you're continuously going from one to the next um, and, and teaching your body how to move as, as you're building the strength, not in addition to, but as you're building strength. I think the main thing that the kids like is uh, every day they show up, they're not quite sure what they're going to do. You know, one day we're in here uh, just doing a lot of body weight maneuvers, and then the next day they're here, they're pushing a truck out on the track and swinging uh, sledgehammers. And, and I think what keeps them coming back is they're excited uh, and it's new every day. In terms of performance, you know, we were just, it was bench press, squat, and then just go run. You know, that was, that was, that was what we did, you know. And, uh, you know, I think that, uh, that I would have been a, a better, uh, more functionally proficient athlete had I had uh, an APX type system in place. You know, we had more old school, traditional guy. I'm old and, you know, we've, why change? You know, we, we've won four league championships in a row and didn't really, you know, weren't, weren't really, you know, didn't really want to change. And, uh, but we're glad we did. It's, it's more, you know, the thing that Apex is, it's more related to the football game. I mean, it's the movements that you see on the field. I think, I think it's great. I think the kids really got something out of it. I mean, physically, obviously, they worked pretty hard, but I think the mental part of what they got from today is much, much bigger. You saw the kids come together, um, probably even more so they would on a game night as far as cheering each other on, lifting each other up, and not accepting failure as an option. You know, I've been paying attention now for a number of years to um, the, the best athletes at the NFL level and, and really at, at any sport, uh, whether it's basketball, track and field. Uh, and one thing that you, that you see is, is that there's a fluidity in how they move. There's flexibility in their back and their hips. Um, you, you know, you don't, see, you don't see any great athletes that are really bound up and tight. It, it just doesn't happen. And so when you watch these guys move, you watch the you know, Brian Urlacher or, you know, some of these, these amazing athletes, they, they, they're, they're fast and strong, but they're just very flexible at the same time and, and their, their bodies move efficiently. And, uh, and you know, hopefully, um, you know, that's something that, that's going to become part of uh, the athletic program at a younger and younger age. And I think APX can be at the forefront of that. So my stance, fellas, if I'm a line guy, I'm out here and when you're a kick slide, if I'm that skilled DB wide receiver guy, I'm in that stance. My hips are engaged. I'm down, I'm ready, to say I'm ready to make a play, I'm punched from a block scene right there, Dot my hands are inside, and I'm punching here. So what's the rep say? I think the biggest thing that, that immediately coaches see when they come in, we come into their school, of the fact that we're trying to benefit their program, that we're trying to enhance the coaches and, and what they're doing with their kids and how they're relating to their kids in this environment. What are they teaching? And that is our main focus, along with the amount of passion and tempo that we keep it going at. Um, we want it, we, any sense of lethargic, lethargic culture in a weight room or in a sport environment is, is not beneficial. It's death it, when it comes to, it's extremely counterproductive. Teach not only football players, um, but every athlete uh, on, on how to move. Um, you know, a lot of people don't understand that you know, when you say that, be like, oh, I, I know how to move. It's, you know, I do that every day. I know how to run. Um, but when we sit down with these kids and we see them bend and see them run, they're like, 
and these kids actually have no idea. So we try to break it down from, from the basics, you know, going all the way back to, to running form, to, to turning this way, to, to bending over, to moving your hips. Um, um, so we really stress, you know, a lot of functionality here at APX and, and, and we break it down from there. And we, we break them down and we build them back up. Um, you know, it's not uh, about a bench press or a squat and uh, how much weight they're putting on. And, and a lot of people don't realize that kids, coaches, uh, parents, um, they don't realize, um, you know, the type of training that we do and so we want to come in here and, and implement to these high schools uh, a, a new form of training and that's you know a lot of body weight a lot of band resistance a lot of um, instability with chains and uh, movements uh, of, of that nature and um, you know these kids are blown away um, they, they put they're racking on these weights and and, and you know by the second round of, of our training um, they're stripping them down and, uh, um, they're saying oh man I've never felt this in my body before so we want to get into these high schools um, show them the new science of, of, of working out and, and, and build from there. We saw gains on those kids and, and uh, their, their body mass was increasing but their, their lean muscle mass was, was huge. Um, they were losing the fat, gaining, gaining that lean muscle and the transformation in two or three months with those kids was outstanding. And uh, the other kids walking around school were looking at kids going, Holy cow, how, how have you changed your body like that? And, they're, and they're really their strength levels just skyrocketed. Before Apex came in, we weren't a traditional um, clean squat bench. We're all about explosive power and explosive movements. So I think they had some kind of idea, but I don't think they had the idea about bending. I don't think they understood how you know everything's connected to your spine. I don't think they really got that. And I think now they understand, you know, the way you stand, the way you bend, the way you move. I mean, you can. I think that's going to make a better athlete. I think now they're going to start understanding that because we were already kind of set up a little bit, but this is going to really set them up and make us more athletic and more explosive. And I think overall, just more shit. Just I can't just a better program altogether. I can't express the excitement I'm ready. I mean, I could play right now, and I think the kids could go play right now. The high school kids obviously are a, a huge challenge to to implement nutrition, nutritional aspects to get them to eat. Obviously. What's the traditional traditional thing to do in high school kids on Friday and Saturday nights? It's eating fast food, pizzas, and all this other stuff, sodas. Um, you also have large populations of high school kids drinking now, and so you know beer and alcohol intake. So when we can teach them the science of what and how those things negatively affect your growth as a, as an athlete. Um, and, and what exactly the processes happen and explain them, you really see some eye opening, eye openers in, in, in the crowd and in people and even coaches and staff, they'll be able to say, whoa, I better not do that as much. So, so that's, that's kind of a cool thing too. You, we always see a reduction, always. There's never three, six, 12 months down the line, the coaches, you know, as we come back or, you know, we, we have these relationships to build with the schools, we're always hearing effect that it's, it's entirely different. Sure, you're going to always have a struggle in a high school setting for kids to eat good. That's just the nature of the beast when you're dealing with 15 to 18 year old kids. Um, but if we can take and hone in and at least they know and they have, a, they have a subconscious to it of what they're putting in their bodies and versing that to them, versing that to them over and over again while we come and do the clinic and teaching the coaches how to really continue to keep that at an upper level. You know, whether or not we give them a meal sheet that we hand out and have them, okay, what'd you guys do yesterday? You know, they fill it out and they turn it in and pick it randomly. Okay, you got to stand up and tell the entire audience what you did. You know, keeping the accountability levels up. What could you have done better? Go up to the dry erase boards, you know, and, and, you know, and write down what would be the ideal, you know, what could you have done better on meal two compared to meal three? Or could you have eaten at a better time here? Could you have prepared and teaching them really about preparation? High school kids don't prepare. They just go for what they go, you know, it's the next minute. We're teaching them the night before or the morning of, don't, don't leave it up to your mom and dad to take care of everything. Learn it now. Prepare and pack meals or pack what you're going to need to do all day, you know, because your body's in a constant growth cycle mentally and physically, you know, with the whole school and then being mentally sharp for testing and academics, um, especially you add that athlete aspect. If you're an athlete and you claim to be an athlete in high school, then live it. Live the culture by it. Live the lifestyle. Eat like it. Play like it. Train like it. Act like it. Um, that's, that's the difference of what APX does. In our 09 season, the, our state championship run, uh, knock on wood, we, we, had, we had very limited uh, injuries. We had a broken thumb. That kid did not miss a game. Um, 
and that was that was really the extent of our injuries. You know, we had bumps and bruises, which is going to happen in the game, but but nothing major. You know, we had no knees, we had no shoulders. Everything was solid with our athletes. Uh, conditioning level, they would come over third and fourth quarter. Coach, bury them. Let's bury them right now. And we knew right then we had it. And those guys that came over were, were most of the time our linemen. And our linemen who were going face to face with guys all the time, they could tell. They were wearing on guys and they knew coach just pound them. And so that's what we did. That a ton of volume in the last two, two and a half hours of your life, okay? You pushed, you got through it, okay? You competed, all right? The bat, leadership. I have a couple guys within this group that be The athletes love it. Uh, the student athletes love it because of the fact that they see that the weight room and that training for sports is more than just a number. It's more than just how much can you put on a bar and lift, whether it be a bench squat, clean, dead, overhead press, jerk, doesn't matter what. It's more than just how fast can I run from point A to point B. This is a buy-in of really looking at how better are they bending and moving, how much more um, elasticity they have throughout their body, and they feeling that. Um, putting different, better measures and assessments up for them to attain that don't have to revolve around how much weight you're putting onto a bar or on you know, how fast you can move from point A to point B. We like to open that up because every, every athlete, every young kid loves to come in and, and be successful. And through, if they're achieving some forms of success and they know they're succeeding, the buy-in is going to be even more for them to continue to want to wanna work harder and be a part of the buy-in of the program. So, that is the biggest reason why I'm coming in and taking down, really taking down pictures of big strong guys all throughout the weight room. They're loaded up with bars of weight. It's just an image that's selling of if I'm a young guy coming in and I'm weak and I see that image, immediately I'm depleted. Immediately I don't want to, if I can't be that, then really what am I doing for the next four years? So that, you know, putting even aesthetics of different posters up, of different athletes of their school, different sports, you know, that should be the that should be the focus. We want you get getting you moving in, in a functional manner. And I think that's kind of a, a, a big uh, mission of APX um, is breaking down each and every uh, individual and athlete and kind of looking at them, okay what what do they need? Okay, they're moving well. Okay, now we can maybe start putting on some some more weight. You know, we come in and provide a template, a structure, and a program for the coaching staff of how to follow this from day one. 364, 365 over, days a year. Over, what are you back. doing from this Monday to Friday every single week, whether it be starting January 1st all the way till you know spring ball starts or your summer training? How's the summer training then shift and what are we looking at there? Then when you start your practices in the fall, what does your in-season work look like? How does it change and how to morph? Once that's done, your season's done, it's the start of the off season again. So we call that a muscle cycle of, of training, of how we're training the body, how we're training a culture of bodies, and what we're trying to do with them from freshman year, coming in freshman year to their senior year, and what kind of development you should be able to see throughout that four year span. And it should be, it should be a big eye catcher. And I think what the great thing about it is too, is that the coaches are continuing. It's a learning curve for the coaches. They're, they're having to coach and learn more about why we're having the athletes do what we're doing because it's going to resonate on the field. You're not going to be able to get an athlete there that's not functional or doesn't know how to move or bend. It's not explosive. You're going to have to teach that into a training environment. They're not going to do it right when you put them on a field, no matter what sport they play. So that's got to be the focus and, and having the coaches be a part of it and putting on the coaches clinic prior to actually doing the athlete clinic because we do them consecutively. It just is a great marriage between the two and it bonds it, it unifies it and they're left with knowing exactly how to take it and, and, and to the next level and adapting it within how their athletic populations are increasing. So building that relationship from that point forward after we come in and we do the coaches and players clinic and then building that relationship with them the year round or if we have to come in maybe a pre-summer clinic or a summer clinic to make sure things are going good and kind of jump start things again where we have that relationship where we're continuing talking with them, visiting with them, um, emails. It's, it's, a, it's a great bond, and it's something we just love to do, continuing to develop the program that they're working with. It's going to challenge me. I have to be accountable to run this program now. I have to be accountable to 
implement this into the kids and they're going to hold me accountable and they're like, hey, man, we don't do it like that. So, I mean, it's be a learning curve for me. So, but yeah, that's what bring the most joy because the kids are going to understand how it's supposed to be ran. Now, the kids are going to, I have a group of kids that will spend time learning about APX, how their bodies move and what they're supposed to put in their body. And that's what's bringing the most joy. And it's going to be accountability throughout the whole program. And I think that's what APX brings. And it brings that brotherhood, you know, that we've already got, but it brings it a little bit more because now it's not on the field all the time. It's in the hallways. It's in the weight room. It's in the classroom. And it's like, you see the guys busting ass in the weight room. Now you got to hold each other accountable because you can't have that weak chain. You can't have that paper clip in your, you know, your chain. And that's what I think APX didn't do for us. I was just so amped up because I'm just, I knew it was, I knew what to expect from talking to Barrett, talking to Shark. I knew it was gonna, I knew it was gonna happen. I, I, I had set myself up, but I mean, just to see it is just a totally different thing. I mean, you know, watching a game and playing a game are two different things. And that's kind of how it was. I mean, you could feel the emotion, you could feel the intensity, you could feel the drive of the kids, and that's what it was. I mean, I had all these expectations, and they met my expectations, they exceeded my expectations. One, two, three, hit the train! 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 Hit the So what are you doing right now? Picking up your cue? Yeah, the ring of puke right there. <laughs> Probably do it again later too.